that there's like five or six main archetypes of video games now and that's it and you're you're either picking up the big first person shooter the corridor shooter you know your call of duty is with the big uh multiplayer facet to it i mean you're picking up that you're picking up a sports game and let's let's oh, not let's not you know mince hairs madden has been the same fucking Are game since madden that? 2001 and I will defend that statement to my grave, whether they change shit up or not. It's the same fucking game, and you're purchasing the exact same game for $60 every year. Congratulations, you've wasted your money. I hope it was disposable income and not money you should have been spending on food for your kids. But, yeah, I mean, it's just... It gets so boring. Oh, the pain, suffering your... I don't know. I like finding games that are new and different. <clears throat> And granted, I say that, and then I start yeah, sucking, you know, from software's dick super hard with their, their Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne games, which are essentially the same game. Um, but it's also still new and fresh, so shut up, don't talk shit about my Dark Souls, I'll light you on fire. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I like finding new games. That's I, I really like, like new games and fresh takes on old stuff that they aren't really doing anymore. Like genre revival, stuff like that. One of my favorite games I've played recently uh, that's relatively new is um, a 2D side-scroller genre revival game. And I call it genre revival. It doesn't mean the game I'm talking about is actually reviving a genre, but it's part of a revival of an old genre like a 2D platformer. And the game I'm talking about in uh, uh, right now is Shovel Knight. I have Shovel Knight on Steam for PC, and holy fuck, that's such a good game. If you have Steam, or if you have some way to pick up Shovel Knight, pick up Shovel Knight. It is perfect platforming, and it is so fresh because it's so old school, and you haven't seen anything like that in a while, and I love shit like that. I love shit like that. I love new takes on old stuff, and I love games that have good, addictive, solid gameplay, like Diablo 3 here, which we're playing. It's a ton of fun. And uh, I really like finding games like that. And I mean, granted, every now and then I like going back to, you know, an old tried and true game. Like, I still pick up Ubisoft games. I'm currently playing through uh, uh, Black Flag, the uh, first next-gen Assassin's Creed game, which um, I, I will probably argue until they release another game that's such a fresh take on the formula is that going to be the last good Assassin's Creed game. Um, but, you know, enough's enough. You don't need annualized releases. And that's another thing I can bitch about, but I feel like I should stop bitching and instead thank everybody who's in the stream for sticking with me as I, you know, go on a tirade about dumb bullshit. Hey, yo, girl. Hey. Hey, you look lusty, girl. Hey. Take my arrows, girl. You gonna die. Actually, she doesn't die here, but, uh, you know, spoiler and stuff like that. Man, she jumps out of there real quick. Oh, man. Those succubi have, uh, they do a lot of damage. They don't look like they would, but they, they do a good job of getting away from your damage, and they cause enough damage that they become a big problem if you get swarmed by them. In the expansion for the second game, Lord of Destruction, uh, you run into scores of them at once in like the, the end game dungeons, and that can become uh, really troublesome if you don't have a character that's I built to uh, from the withstand them, basically, and withstand the amount of damage they can deal. You will pay for this. And, you know, don't get me wrong on games like Madden. Yeah, you're buying the same game over and over, but... You know what? I feel like one or two Madden purchases per, like, console... And per console cycle is... Is kind of worth the money. Because there's enough upgrades throughout... Jesus, this is, uh... This is getting dire. There's enough upgrades they throw in that may or may not be good... Throughout the life cycle of a system. That, you know, picking up, like, let's say on the, uh on the Xbox 360, picking up, like, Madden 07 or 08, and then picking up, like, uh, Madden 2012. That's fine. But I just, I, I can't, I can't justify purchasing a slightly different iteration of, a, of the same game every single year. <clears throat> it just doesn't make sense to me. 
Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, shit. want to stay away from those explosions. Those suck. Okay. Uh, that is the... Uh, 60% point of, actually that's probably closer to the 70% point of this dungeon because we only have one or two more screens to go through and then we are at the uh, final boss of this area uh, which is the final boss of the entire, oh shit glad I got away from that it's just the final boss of the act as well Whee! don't stand in the explosion you idiot <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, well, we got a lot of people in here. I just want to say hey to everybody. Thanks for joining us here on our uh, hardcore run through in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Uh, so we're currently in the uh, finale of the third act. Wow, I said that weird. Finale? We're in the finale, there we go, words, of the third act here. Um, about to fight a uh, Lord of Hell shortly. Um, we are doing a hardcore virgin run through. Hardcore means I will, if I die, I die. There's no, there's no respawning. There's only one life. And uh, virgin means that I'm running through it solo without any help. Uh, no higher level characters on the account passing me items and stuff like that. Um, whoops. Uh, so yeah, in a nutshell, that's basically what's going on here. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us. If you like what you see, definitely give us a follow. Um, we stream Monday through Friday, 9 a 9.30 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. So that's 10 streams a week minimum. So there's definitely a lot of fun stuff to check out here and a lot of... Oh, those guys are trouble. A lot of cool content. We stream a lot of different games. Uh, whatever I find fun, whatever I want to maybe highlight at the time. Um... Yeah. So, once again, thanks for checking us out, and I hope you guys stick around for more of what we got going on here. Ah, Frozen Field. I don't want to build a snowman, you fat guy. Get away. You're a bad man. <laughs> oh, God. Shard, Nomad of the Wastelands. Yeah, take that, you stupid elite mob. You're dead. Yeah, I'm the best around. I like when I do my stupid circle shit, the, uh, my follower doesn't know what the hell's going on. He just freaks out, too. It's funny to me. Shut up. I like it. <laughs> damage fields there. Cause some real damage here. <laughs> hey, we got a level. Sweet. Good things are happening. Impale Rune Unlocked Ricochet. That's actually really good if we ever switch over to uh, Impale. Which we may or may not. I really need to, once I hit like level 60 specifically, I need to look at my skills and kind of reevaluate how I want my character character to be built. Um, I may not change it up too much because I'm kind of building my character around high mobility, high damage, uh, medium defense, I guess. Enlightened Shrine. Yay, more experience. <clears throat> but uh, we definitely need to play around with the skills we have and the runes we have. Because there's some late game runes you pick up that completely change the viability of a character and certain skills they have, so it uh, behooves us to pay attention to that. Oh, wow, that's a lot of arcane. Boop. Get my grenades out there. Get my turrets out there. There we go. Oh, wow, they actually died a lot faster than I expected them to. Come on, give me good items. Bastard's not giving me good items. Whatever. It's random, I know. There's no one specific bastard keeping me away from good stuff. Except maybe that guy right there. Hey, you, you're a bastard. Har, har, har. We burnt him down. Let's jump up this away. Nope, nothing here. Shit, did I go way off the beaten path? Yes, I did. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Please bear with us as we run all the way back over here. While we're doing that, uh, let's see. I will take this time to give a shout-out to mbuck253. 
uh, MBUG253, MB give us a follow here. Uh, thanks so much, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, hope you enjoy what you're seeing, and I uh, hope we see you around for a lot more. Once again, MBUG253 is a new follower to the Wu-Tang Chicken channel. Thanks so much. We're glad to have you. Uh, I need to get out of this fucking damage while I'm sitting here plugging my followers. <laughs> Yeah, Blood Clan Impaler. That's hey, more elite that. guys, cool. I like running into the elite mobs when we have the uh, when we have the experience boosts. Ooh, ooh, we got some shit. Ooh, let's look at our shit. We got Nemesis Bracers. Shrines will spawn an enemy champion. Oh shit. So basically, every time I use a uh, every time I use a shrine, it spawns out a boss. That's badass. We also got um, a gift here. I'm going to talk about these gifts really quick. Occasionally, when you pick up a legendary or legendary set item, an orange or green item, it will also spawn a gift for someone on your friends list. Um, you basically send it to them just like that and it'll show up in their mailbox, which they can then acquire it and use it on whatever character they want. It's a really cool way to uh, kind of, I wouldn't say goad your friends into playing the game, but kind of give them incentive to play and give them incentive to play with you. And also, it, it's a really cool way to kind of keep people playing the game, because let's say, let's say I'm like, eh, I'm kind of done with uh, kind of done with Diablo 3 for a while, and then my buddy's like, holy shit, I sent you, I sent you like, like, 13 badass elite legendary items. You better go pick them up before they go in. It's like, well, you know, there's a there's a, uh, a time limit on how long you have before you can pick them up, so eh, I might as well go pick them up. And then you get back into the game super hard and throw 40 more hours in it. It's it's a really cool it's a really cool community mechanic, and I like it a lot. Yo, I like that. Uh, it's Brock in the chat is asking if this game is worth buying for Xbox One. Uh, short answer, hell yes. This game has hundreds of hours of gameplay. Uh, this game has six unique character classes that you can play almost infinitely differently, like in an infinite amount of different ways. And, you know, infinite, quote unquote. But seriously, there's a lot of different ways to play this game. Um, there's tons of replayability built into the game just by default. Uh, tons of awesome online and uh, local co-op. Uh, this game is the total package, and it's actually on sale for 30 bucks right now. If you've got the 30 bucks to spare, pick this game up. You won't be disappointed. There's so much, like, even when you reach the level cap, by the time you reach the end of the level cap, there's still so much more to unlock. Blizzard did a really good job of adapting this game to be like, oh, well, you've maxed the level of your character? Well, now the game starts. Um, it's very cool. Uh, there's very cool, like, after-game leveling system, basically. There's so much to this game, and I can't sing its praises enough. The story's a bit basic and stupid, um, but it is well-written, and they do throw a bunch of cool twists in there. Um, I wouldn't say they're unexpected twists, but they are cool to see, and they're cool to see in a game like this, where a story may or may not be very basic since the majority of the game is based around killing monsters and leveling up your character. Oh hell yeah, we're almost there. Power of the Cursed level 1. <laughs> I do hope you're not in over your head. Yeah, I hope I'm not in over my head either, creepy sex lady. Yeah, we got some elite mobs to burn down. Along with big bad motherfuckers. Yeah! Causing that damage, son. <laughs> I'm such a damn goofball. <laughs> Man, we are really close to the finale here. Which is awesome. It's totally awesome. Alright. Yeah! Man, the damage we can cause is so badass. Oh no, there's storm attacks! 
They're throwing some crazy fireballs at us. I'm glad we have the uh, health regen stuff on us that we do. So though 